In this tutorial, we're looking at LifeCast's volumetric video player for Unity. With this, we can capture the real world using any VR180 camera, and then process it using LifeCast software to create a 3D volumetric video, and then play it back in 3D in Unity. So we can look around, and we can also move the camera side to side. Or we can zoom out like this and see the whole scene. So this is what we get with a VR180 camera, we're getting 180 degrees field of view. To test the sample scene, just press play. Right now we're getting the source video from this URL on the web, but it can also come from a local file or a static photo. This is what the source video file looks like. It contains the image and a corresponding depth map as well as a background layer to fill in the missing detail if people look behind objects. This is generated by LifeCast software, available at lifecastvr.com. In this case, we're encoding the video using H.264 at 4096 by 4096 resolution. Now we have an empty scene with just a camera, and we're going to build up the player one piece at a time so you can see how it works. First, notice that for the camera, we've changed the background to black and the rendering path to forward. First, we're going to add a controller to the camera so that we can pan and rotate using the mouse. You can use whatever camera controls you want in your project, though. To do this, let's drag the LifeCast Orbit camera onto our main camera. And now you can see it's been added as a component for the main camera. To render the volumetric video, we're going to use two procedurally created meshes, one for the foreground and one for the background. Let's create these in the hierarchy. We'll go to create empty and then call it lifecast foreground mesh and another one called lifecast background mesh. Select the foreground mesh object and choose add component and then find the lifecast mesh generator script. Now we'll do the same thing for the background. Next, let's assign materials to each of our meshes. For the foreground mesh, we'll use the LifeCast foreground material. We'll drag it in here. And for the background mesh, we'll use the LifeCast background material. We'll drag it in here. Okay, one thing I almost forgot. We need to set the target of the camera so that it has something to orbit around. So we'll go into the main camera, the LifeCast orbit camera script, and then we need to set this target property to something. So let's set it to the LifeCast foreground mesh. We need to provide our materials with a texture, and we'll do this by rendering a video into a render texture. So for this, let's start by creating an empty object, which we'll call LifeCast Video Player, and then we'll come and add a component and choose the Unity Video Player type. This is just the standard video player. So here we can choose the source video file. And for this demo, let's just use our, our URL. We want to play on Wake. Uh, let's loop it. Let's mute it for this purpose. We want the render mode to be render texture. And, and the target texture needs to be the life cast video texture. So let's put that in there. And then for aspect ratio, no scaling. And I think that's good to go. Let's try it out. All right, so there we have it. That's our volumetric video playing in Unity. That's the basics, but let's take a closer look at how the textures work. If we go inside of the LifeCast video render texture, this is just a standard Unity render texture, but we have changed the size to 4096 by 4096 to match our video encoding. We've also disabled nit maps for performance reasons. If you look at the materials for the background or the foreground, you can notice that the texture that's associated with them is actually just the LifeCast video render texture here. But you could also provide a different texture to these materials by whatever other means you want, like as a bitmap texture, for example. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit lifecastvr.com.